So this will probably be a relatively long video. I'm gonna show two of these cases. Uh, again, we have 50 of these. Uh, now, they're not always the specialty sets or the really good ones. Uh, they might be rares and so on, but we bring them to conventions and they sell like crazy. This is one of the items that we sell a lot of and it is, you know, pretty interesting. So I'm just going to go through it right now. Yeah, weapons, uh, which isn't, this is, <laughs> you know, this was a bad set. In hindsight, I wish I did not open so many weapon sets because the weapons are not good sellers. In fact, you know, you could, I'll show you what outer specialty items you can get. And the weapons are like way down there in terms like, not, this is not bad though, the sneak on shard. The weapons are basically equipment cards. And since no one plays the game and they only collect the game, there is uh, no need for equipment cards, if you will. And uh, so instead of getting the weapon of the character, I mean, you much rather just have the character. So I, I did a boo-boo. And I bought a lot of uh, weapons back in the day. I, and this was before I knew what was going on. So now I know what's going on because I go to these conventions. People want to buy the character. They don't care the rarity. They don't really care the price. In fact, the most common question I have is what is the cheapest Inuyasha card you have? They just like the artwork. They like that it is a official product. But for the most part, they're not really into it. Uh, these are very interesting. They're storybook sets. So again, do I, should I have, I'll show you what I should have bought into, but it's too late now. These are storybook sets. You can see that I have a lot of storybooks. Uh, typically we sell them as a story and people love that. Uh, this is the Sippo story. So people in Inuyasha, they absolutely love the storyline. So again, would this be the best cards? No, this is actually, now that I'm looking at this uh, box, I think I picked the wrong box up. Uh, maybe we'll take a look at the second box. This is a story of Inuyasha, and it's the Sippo story. Okay, and now we have events with, oh my God. Now I'm realizing that this is pretty terrible. That I have picked up the wrong box, and this is the box of like crap that I cannot sell. All right, these are events in Inuyasha. Sometimes you have good events. Uh, sometimes like you have a Kagome in event, but you can see like how small it is. These are cards that people are meant to play with, not actually, um, you know, buy or sell. Yeah, we have a lot of events. Okay, I, this is, uh, like this event is pretty cool. It's got the whole team. It's got, you know, Kagome, Inuyasha, Inuyasha, Sango, Kagome, and you know, but I don't like how small the picture is. People are buying for the picture, you know? They're not really buying for uh, anything else. They're buying for the picture. Okay, now let's try to move on to something that is more valuable and more interesting, I guess. As I package this away, and hopefully do not like, hopefully I can package this away properly. Oop. I wish I bought more in Yasha. That's my only, my biggest regret is I didn't buy enough of this at the time and I bought the wrong things because I didn't know. So if you're buying one piece and if one piece dies, I guarantee you, if you buy the character cards, you will still be okay. Uh, you will still be okay. There will always be people who want Luffy. There will always be people who want Nami and Robin and the other characters. This is just what it is. It's kind of like Weiss. A lot of times they have these older sets of um, that are very expensive of like Kill a Kill, Gar Garen, Lugan, like the price of these boxes are insane. And the people are buying it, not necessarily for, because it's a good deck. The deck actually is outdated, many years outdated, but they're buying it because it's their favorite character. And that's, as soon as I realized that, I was like, yeah, there's a market for this. And that's what I'm, uh, but unfortunately for Inuyasa, the market has come and gone meaning there's just not any supply left. The game has been dead for like 20 years almost, almost the 20 year anniversary. I think they had their 15 year, no, actually no, they had their 15 year anniversary soon, uh, recently. All right, now I'll show you, uh, these are the ultra rares. So they kind of look kind of cool. Uh, or no, these are the secret rare, the hidden rares. Nope, nope. Some of them are hidden rares. They're just not organized properly. 
Unless this is spe no, that's not special for some reason. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe that's just a regular no Raku. These are ultra rares. This is the highest. So there's two rarities. One is a hidden rare, which is one in every 208. Imagine that, that you need to place it. One in every 288. Again, one in every 288 packs will have a hidden rare, which is kind of like the secret rare, right, of Pokemon. Sippo, uh, I think um, th this is like one in every box, or one, two in every box, if you get lucky. Uh, these are gold stamped, so they're slightly more... They have <laughs> they had a lot of gimmicks going, I'm not going to lie. These people got a lot of gimmicks, man. Uh, Inuyasha had a lot of just random gimmicks going on <laughs> in Kiving Time. All right, let's try to get to the good things. I'm trying to get past the ultra rares. But the ultra rares, they're pretty rare. I mean, Inuyasha, it's, but like this compared to this, if it's just a rare with the same picture, it is like one tenth as much money. And that card will sell way faster because people, people who don't play this game don't care that it's an ultra rare. Unless they really love this artwork, they don't care that it's four shards versus three shards. They simply do not. As you can see, there's a lot of artwork. There's a lot of artwork. There's Naruko. They simply do not care. And I don't blame them. I mean, if you're just trying to collect, you're not really looking... Oh my, I didn't even realize I opened that many packs. So each of these is like, I think, a half a booster box or 18 packs or something like that. But the artwork... You know, the art, there's no special foiling or any of that stuff. It's just rare. So this stuff, I, I basically keep for myself because it is so rare. But it doesn't have additional value to it. Okay, we're getting to the cards that sell now. Holy moly, it took a long time. Okay, we're getting to the cards that are the, the things I want to show you. So One Piece has the same thing. Okay, so they have these cards. For our alternative art or cards, they sell like hotcakes. This is these are the sets I should have gone into and really bought a ton of, but I, I didn't. Now I, I made a mistake. So again, I made a lot of mistakes when I was buying these cards. And the number one mistake is I didn't buy enough of them. Because the bulk, the, yes, this is crazy. The bulk is where you want to be buying at. Because not only do you get these cards, which are beautiful cards. Again, these are not great characters, but Kikio is a pretty popular character on red. These are these are hot cakes. These sell like crazy because they look so different from the red. You get their full art. They look different. So Shomaru will sell like anything. Uh, these will sell. I don't have a ton of these. Let me show you my favorite collection set of the collection. I do also have uncut sheets, but that's from my store. So I have five uncut sheets. I have, they're all five first edition. I have Tusagai. I have uh, the first set, one uncut sheet of the first set. I have two uncut sheets of the second set and I have three uncut, no, two uncut sheets of the third set. set. Let me show you what I wish I had bought more of. Um, it's not these, these are more weapons. <laughs> uh, it turned out that no one cares about the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> that was a massive mistake, guys. So if you're buying into an anime thing, buy the anime characters. Do not buy the weapons. Do not buy the events. Buy the damn characters, right? And then buy the characters in their most awesome-looking format. And this would be it. If you ask what is selling for a lot of money, it would be these. I wish I had bought more, but, you know, again... You know, it is what it is. But when you get rares, so the no, there's no difference between an ultra rare and uh, one of these cards. Like a ultra rare and a regular rare. So the actual consumer, even though the ultra rare is 28 times rarer than a rare, the consumer is just going to look, oh, that's an Inuyasha card. Cool. It's foil. Cool. And that's it. I mean, they're going to buy the cheapest version possible. So when you're selling this stuff, it's actually kind of interesting how you, you sell it. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is probably a very uh, teaching moment in time. I'm teaching you the secrets of the trade. Now, uh, because Inuyasha is so old, there's no more Inuyasha cards to buy. 
And you might be like, oh, that's terrible. Yes, that is terrible. Because everyone who's trying to sell these cards understands that you can sell them at a convention. It's, uh, it's obvious that like, you don't have to be a genius to understand what is gonna happen with these cards because there's so little of them, they're going to end up in, you know, somebody who's just not gonna sell them and they're just gonna to add to their personal collection. The uh, display pieces are really nice when you bring them to the uncut sheets, you bring them, you display them, man, they're like a banner. And uh, obviously they're too expensive because I paid a lot of money. I probably overpaid for them, but they are, they bring a lot of attention. Then you got a little setup, you got your bulk, you got, and you, you got to actually bulk it by character. It doesn't matter what the name says or anything. Like they might be more money, like the name with the character picture, but like a scene from the anime with like multiple characters, like you got to bulk them by character because people are not buying. They're not buying the card game because they want to play. Nobody even knows how to play the card game. They're buying the card game, not even for rarity. Like I mentioned, ultra rares like this, which are really, really hard to get by now, by now no one cares. Because if, if there's an ultra rare and there's a rare and there's a common with the same picture or a similar picture, they're gonna buy the common because the common is like two for, uh, two for 50 cents or four for a dollar. So they can get more commons of their favorite character, which again, it does make perfect sense to me. So yeah, we'd be selling a lot. We'd be selling so much. We're gonna do pop-up stores and so on. Uh, Inuyasha is a hot seller. And the problem, okay, so the problem, number one problem, I can't replace it. So whatever I sell, I sell and it's gone. So you can understand that's not good because it's not like I have a distributor who can sell me new ones because the card the game's been dead for 20 years. I just gotta kind of do what, what I, whatever I have is whatever I have and that's it, unfortunately. Anyway, hopefully that was helpful. Bye guys.